Hi, I'm Ben Bell. I'm the executive producer of The Sims 3, and we're here to show you the game today. We're going to load up the game, we're going to play a little bit, and talk about some of the cool new features. So check it out. Hi, I'm Grant Rodick. Ben has asked me to take you guys through some of the coolest features in the game. In The Sims 3, you will have the freedom to enjoy endless creative possibilities. Players will be able to create unique Sims and immerse them into an open living neighborhood outside their door. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about the game, including the new personality trait system and how the new trait system affects your Sims' lives. So here we are in Create a Sim, where it's really easy to create any sort of Sim that you can imagine. In The Sims 3, you can create different age groups including toddlers, kids, teens, young adults, adults, and elders. You can alter your Sims' body shape. You can make them really heavy, thin, oh. muscular, oh. or anything in between. You can really customize your Sims to look like anyone you know. Hey, this looks like Ben. Okay, let's create an actual Sim. I'm going to name him Herman. Let's give him an average body shape. Maybe he can be a little on the skinny side. One really cool feature is how you can customize the hair color of your Sim. You can choose from any of our preset hairstyles, and then go in and change the root color, the tips, or even give your sim some highlights. You can really go crazy with this tool. Hmm, I don't think Herman's a mohawk kind of guy. You can modify your sim's facial features and create a sim. If you're just getting started with the sims, the tool is really simple to use. You could choose from various presets to create the sim you like. If you want, there is an option that allows you to tweak these presets further. It's easy to create just the look you want. All right, let's pick some outfits. Whoa, uh, maybe not. There, that's what I wanted. So our Sims look great, but what about their personality traits? In The Sims 3, we wanted to give you the ability to really define the personalities of your Sims. In this menu, you could see that we've come up with dozens and dozens of traits that can be combined to create over one million truly unique Sims. Each Sim is defined by up to five traits. I've made Herman brave, but clumsy. Oh, He loves the outdoors, he's a vegetarian, and a bit hot-headed. Let's give Herman a roommate. We'll name him Arnie. He's a conversationalist, ambitious, materialistic, a schmoozer, and a party animal. Our last step is selecting a lifetime wish for our Sims. Arnie wants to rule the free world. Later we'll see how these lifetime wishes will present challenges for both short-term and long-term gameplay. Now we're ready to place them in our neighborhood, Sunset Valley. Let's check out this new neighborhood and find a home for Herman and Arnie. Map tags mark points of interest such as workplaces, places to go hang out, and homes of friends and family. More map tags will fill in as your sims meet their neighbors and discover new places to visit. You can choose where you want your sims to live, whether it's a rustic home along the cliffs or a modern home nestled in suburbia. Remember, you can build a new home on an empty lot take control of an existing family that we've created, or move into one of the many cool houses in Sunset Valley. I've always wanted to live by the beach. Let's move Herman and Arnie here. Arnie has a lifetime wish to become the leader of the free world. Because of that wish, a new goal for Arnie has just appeared. He wants to throw a campaign fundraising party. This will be a good time to connect with his new neighbors and do a little bit of networking, which could definitely help him in his political career. You could choose to ignore any wish or promise it to your sim. Along with their lifetime wish, these wishes are influenced by your sim's personality traits, their career, their skills, or what's going on in their environment. If you fulfill a promised wish, they gain lifetime happiness points that you could spend on lifetime rewards that help you out in the game. You could eventually buy rewards like the steel bladder so that your sim never has to use the bathroom again. There are many, many other rewards to choose from as well. These wishes and rewards are an all-new goal system that gives you more control over your sim's destiny. The party really seems to be jumping. Let's check on Arnie. He raised major simoleons for his political campaign by keeping his guests entertained. As for the hot-headed Herman, all this political chatter has really put him in a bad mood. And worse, a wealthy widow has been hitting on him all night. In The Sims 3, your Sims can now take care of their own basic needs, allowing you more time to focus on achieving bigger things in life, or to just goof around. Arnie's chasing his political dream, and now he's headed to work at City Hall. Herman is going to ride his bike into town. He's still a little miffed about his roommate's political opinions. Turns out there is a protest outside City Hall. Herman decides to join in. 
This hot-headed trade is really showing its full force. It looks like there's about to be a brawl on the steps of City Hall. Nice. With The Sims 3, you really have the freedom to make any sim you can imagine and take them anywhere. You can explore the ever-changing neighborhood and take your sim to meet their neighbors, visit friends in the parks, and do a whole lot more. Your sims can head out to the art gallery, the graveyard, the gym, and other interesting destinations in town. You might be surprised by what you find and who they meet. You never know what to expect, because what happens on one side of town might affect what's happening on the other side of town. There are endless possibilities for creativity, humor, and of course, mischief. So check out The Sims 3, in stores February 2009.